Hey guys, Becky, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are doing a hair video. It has been a while, but I have a new hair appliance that I am dying to try. This is the Blow Brush. So you may have seen this guy around on Instagram or on YouTube. It is known as a three-in-one hairdryer, volumizer, and straightener. So this is a little bit different to the Kmart one that I used. Um, it's a bit bigger. It's more of an oval where the other one is more of a circle shape, but I will pull this out. I'm going to give you my first impressions, I guess a mini how-to because I'll also be learning what to do with it and an unboxing. So from what I understand, the um, Blow Brush is an Australian company that are selling these brushes that have just been everywhere lately and I'm super excited to try it. I've seen it everywhere. And I, um, I ordered the dark pink and black. I'll put a photo of it up there somewhere for you. Um, and I really wanted the light pink one. There's a baby pink special edition one as well, but it was an extra $10 and the other darker one was on sale. And I mean, it's only $10, but I just thought, you know, I will save myself 10 bucks. I'll get the dark one. It's going to do the same thing. But when I ordered this, they sent me this little letter to say that unfortunately the dark pink blow brush was out of stock. Um, they didn't want me to wait for it to come in. So they sent me the baby pink one. And if I wasn't happy with that, to send them an email and they'd be happy to swap it out. But I am totally happy with the baby pink one because that is what I wanted. Um, I think these were $89.95. I will put it somewhere on the screen when I look it up when I'm done. I really just can't remember. So they're a little bit more expensive than the Kmart one, but they it, it's a different style. So we might get a bit more volume with this one being a bigger size. So let's unbox it. Yes, this is massive. Oh my God, that is huge. I don't know if I have enough hair for this. Okay, cool. Well, let's have a go of it. That's that there. It also comes with nothing else in there. Um, the little instruction manual. This says it's model 5250. So I'll just pull this out. So it says this is the cool tip. Um, this is the non-detachable brush head. So the Kmart one, like not really to compare them too much, but that one you can change heads. It comes with a small one. But this one is just one head, which is cool. Um, innovative airflow vents, lightweight, economic design. It is actually quite lightweight, so that shouldn't hurt too much when you're... I mean, it's going to hurt. Blow drying your hair makes your arms tired, but it shouldn't be too bad because it is quite light. Uh, multiple heat settings and a professional swivel cord. So it says it's quiet, powerful, a 1,000 watt motor, fast drying time, three settings of core, medium, and high. Let's just get started. So it comes like that. It looks like it's going to have a really long cord, which is cool. I wonder how you'd go doing someone else's hair with one of these. I did use the Kmart one on my mum the other week. It was okay. I think it's probably better to blow dry with a blow dryer on someone else's hair compared to that one. But this guy could be a whole other ball game. Just going to prep my hair first. I'm going in with a little bit of this Artego Keratin um, Infusion Thermo Shield Heat Protector. It's more of like a liquid one as opposed to a spray like the GHD one that I normally use, which I have left at my mum and dad's house. So I'm just going to rub a little bit of that through my hair. I'm also going to use some of this um, Natural Look Static Free Smooth Operator Blow Drying Balm. So my hair is natural. I just washed it last night, so I've just let it dry naturally. I did put a little bit of that blow dry balm in it last night as well, just to you know, um, make it a little bit less frizzy. So I'm just going to brush it out with this Tangle Teaser, which is going to make it massive. Ugh, it's stuck. I just did a first impressions video on the eyeshadow palette that I used to create this look, um, specifically a pink look to match the blow drying brush. So dedicated. So I'm just going to section how I normally do. So just going right there on the ears. Pulling across and just clipping that up out of the way. All right, so I'm just pulling my hair to the front here. Um, you can see currently it says it's, well, you can't see it, but that says off, cool, low, and high. And U12, this little thing here, little dial, um, there's a bit of a gap there, and the rest of it's all really close together. So I'm going to go on high. It's definitely not as loud as I thought it would be. I'm just going to move you back a little bit so you can fully see my hair. 
um, it doesn't rotate. You pull it through yourself, which is good because then you're not worried about getting caught in it. My hair's feeling really nice. So what I'm going to do, I'll talk you through it over the top. Hopefully you can hear me. But I'm just going to place it there and just twirl it a little bit so I can feel some tension on it and then just pull down real slowly while slowly rotating it. Now, so what I did, if you didn't hear that, was I put that there, I twirled it slightly, and then just pulled down slowly, keeping that little bit of tension on it. Um, when I went to the ends, I just kind of let it fall out. But this time, because I want those ends to be really polished, what I'm going to do is start there. Again, twirl that tiny little bit. So don't, not a full rotation, maybe like half a rotation. Pull down. Then when I get to the end, I'm going to twirl it under and then go out slowly. But I'll do that while it's on. So you can even see without it being on, it's given me that finished end. So I'm just going to move on to the other side and do the same thing. So again, that is placing it there, turning it like half a rotation so you've got really good tension on it. If you do want to twirl it the whole way around, that's fine as well. And then just pull down slowly. When you get to the ends, you can hold it at like a, maybe like a half a rotation. Or if you want to go the full way around, you can as well. Um, if you want to bounce them a little bit, like keep twirling the brush, if that makes sense. I'll do that just so you can see what I'm doing. We'll give it a bit more of a twirl to really work the ends. So as you can see there, we've got really polished ends. Okay, we'll just move on and keep going. I'm just going to apart just above my ears this time. Okay, this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there again, twirl it to get the tension, but as I follow it down, I'm going to twirl as I go down the hair. you I'm kind of getting the same effect but I just want to show you a few different ways that you can use the brush for the back here I'm going to do the same as what I just did um, I'm going to do it a couple of times because the hair on the bottom it always feels that little bit better so now that I'm at this section which is like my middle sections I'm going to focus a little bit more on the hair I feel like it might need a little bit more work than the bottom parts did Just starting there again, swirling as we go down the whole way. Okay, I've done that once. I'm going to do it again. And don't start focusing on your ends until you're happy with the roots and the mid lengths. Now that you've done those two sections, if you want to pick up all the hair, so the hair you've already done, and just um, go through with this. I'm just gonna do probably, I'm probably just gonna do a half rotation, pull it through. So putting it there, rotate, bring it through towards your face. Just be a little bit careful too. The cool tip is actually pretty hot. You can fit so much hair in this brush. So that's why they probably say it's like fast drying because you can get so much done in little time because that's how big it is. It's roughly sectioning out my hair now. So the bottom sections we did focus more on like smoothing and getting the ends nice, more of a straight kind of look. Because um, we're more towards the crown now, we are going to try and get a little bit more volume so what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to lift the hair as I do it. I'm still going to like roll it. Then I'm going to roll it in just gently. Um, on here, I'm going to flick it to cool. So cooling it will help set the hair. So you just kind of have to remember. So if it's off, your first twirl, that's cool. There, yeah, one, two. Okay. But if you're on hot, you're going to go hot, medium, cool. So if you go off, even if you just turn it off while it's up there, just flick one. It's really loud, but cool's really loud. And you're going to hold it. To get it out, we're not going to pull because you're going to get stuck. So we're going to release it. You're going to feel how you felt when you were at that like half a rotation. And then we're going to focus on our ends and pull them down. All right. So I hope that makes sense. I'll show you what I mean. I'll try and talk through it over the brush, but we'll give it a go. So I'm going to put it back on high. I'm going to lift it from the root. So lift it up, twirling it out slowly. When I get just to the end, I'm going to roll it in. Then I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to flick it one back to the side because I know that's cool. And I'm going to hold it. I'm then going to slowly release it. And now I know I'm at that kind of half a rotation. Just my ends are in the brush now. I'm going to twirl it back in towards my face. So again, that is lifting it right up. You can even do that like once or twice, three times if you want to until you're comfortable. Do it real slowly while you're rotating it out. When you get to the end, you can you know you're just about to fall out, but you're not. You're going to roll it in. We're going to switch the dial to cool. We're going to hold it there for a little bit. We are going to unravel our hair. And then we are going to slowly out the ends while we rotate okay you can do that on cool if you like it does help set the hair it gives it a little bit more bounce um if you want it on hot that's fine too for that part but i will be doing it on cool so i'm going to turn it back onto high again hopefully you can hear me but we're going to go up pulling our hair up i'm going to do it again doing this part multiple times is Smoothing the ends and the root. All right, so we're there. I'm going to twirl myself in now. I'm going to turn off. I'm going to turn on one rotation to pull. That's on medium. You can tell by the sound. Cold is really loud. So I'm just going to redo the ends now all together to blend them together. I'm going to do that on cool as well. Just holding it underneath and twirling it. So on that side, I had my hair twirling in towards me. Um, on this side, we'll do it flicking the other way so you can see how I get volume that way as well. So that would be going that way. Okay. So again, just going to put it there at the root. We're going to lift and pull. We are going to make sure we're in. Roll it towards the head. Switch to cool. Hold it there for like 20 seconds on cool. And then we're going to lightly release. And then we're going to keep twirling the ends. So they're not going to flick towards your face. That will then flick outwards. So that this is just to show you, obviously I want to flick it in towards my face. So I may have to go over it again, but I'll just show you this way as well. So placing it there, lifting it up, twirling it out. So we're going to do that again to really smooth the roots and the mid. You don't even have to like do the ends here if you don't want to. But then we're going to get there, and right at the end, we're going to roll it up, we're going to switch it off, we're going to switch one rotation back to four, and just hold it, and 
we're going to lightly let go and then once we're at that point where we know we're almost out of the brush we are going to slowly roll out there so you can see that flicks the other way i don't turn that off so you can see that flicks out the other way i don't like that i want it to come in so i'm just going to go over that part again i just wanted to show you that way as well this is actually so lightweight it's really easy to use and now that i'm going from the back not the sides i am putting my brush underneath i'm pulling forwards Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. I might like just do that part a couple of times and then I'm going to roll in, hold it, put it on cool, slightly release, do the ends, okay? And we're just sectioning out the crown now, so we are going to keep blow drying up for that volume. I get a really naughty crown, so I'm just going to comb that first. Um, I might be a little bit of an awkward angle here, but I want you to see. So I'm just going to slide back down in my chair. No matter how light it is, that part hurts. Oh, sore arms. You can definitely take really big sections of hair with this thing. So that's cool. Oh, the fringe is going to be like the awkward part. <laughs> Alrighty, now for my fringe, um, my fringe is at a really awkward length because I did have a side fringe, or not a side fringe, a um, curtain fringe. So I'm just going to have a play and see how we go. But what I think I'm going to do is pull it to the front, put it underneath, and then just go down. And then pull down. Look okay, like that. Just going to spray on a little bit of hairspray. So that is it, guys. That is my how to first impressions on the blow brush. I really liked it. It was very quick. Um, that took me about half an hour to film this. So that was really quick to be able to blow dry your hair. And obviously, if I wasn't talking and stopping to demonstrate and things like that, there's, of course, going to be things I have to cut out of this where I might have stuffed up some words or something. So really under half an hour to blow dry your hair. My hair was dry. I'd really like to give this a go when my hair's wet. If you want to see me do it while my hair's wet, please let me know so we can get like a full engage on that and we can definitely do that but i really liked it as i said you can fit a lot of hair in it it's really big i've got a bit of volume up in my crown but it feels really nice and soft the ends are nice and finished i am really really happy with this one and i would definitely recommend so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please make sure you hit that subscribe button leave me a like come say hey in the comments i would love to chat to you let me know if you guys have one of these um, if you have the Kmart one as well, like how you rate it. I, I'm a big fan. I really like these blow drying brushes. They are so much fun. But thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!